I want to welcome everybody. I can see you. Welcome. Why we wait for others? Okay, I would like everyone who is online now to unmute so we can just say hi to ourselves as we expect others who are still coming on. Hello, everyone. Hi, please. You can just introduce yourself to the house. Well, we're going to start by two. Hello, everyone. My name is Adekola Adeleke. You're welcome. Thank you.
Please, I don't need to be going and coming. I'm having a class here. You want to go, you want to say, please. Oh, you want to be coming back into the red. Okay, so while we wait, I will just like to welcome those of us online already. I know many people are just waiting for that two o'clock mark for them to join this class. It's a great privilege having you guys here. And I really appreciate your effort and taking your time to join this class. You're all welcome. And see everyone here. Okay. I'm just try to call out the names of the people that will have you. I can see you are there for learning. Akiyemi. You guys are welcome. So please now we want everyone that's online to just mute yourself if you are just joining please mute yourself if you are here already please mute yourself so we can have a very seamless audio throughout this training we can have a seamless audio throughout this training you can mute yourself and if you wish you can also put up a video if you wish to save your data you can put up your, your video it will help you in saving your data also also so without any further delay i know many people will see us in the course of this class and some people are already on facebook joining this class from Facebook, which will also be taking questions from there when we get to that part. I'd just like to go straight to the point. I'd just like to go straight to the point. This training, like I said in the introduction video that was released yesterday, is organized by Selling Hope, which is a subsidiary of the Push NG. And this training has been supported by some good people this training has been supported by Core Entertainment, GMK Collections, and also D Plus logos. These are wonderful people who are supported because of this program. So this program is all about video editing. I know when the topic video editing comes to mind, the thing that comes to the mind of everyone the thing that comes to the mind of everyone is video editing is being done on, on system, computers, hand computers. If you want to do your videos, if, if you want the best of the best, they, they believe that it's been done on computers, on laptops of high hand. Although that has been the case in time past, but things are changing. At, as we now have phones that are performing more optimally than many systems. I don't know if you guys agree with me on that. We have systems, we have phones, mobile phones, sorry, that processors that are more powerful than many laptop computers that some people are still holding onto today. We have systems. We have systems that you can't even compare with some phones. I know many of us here are using some high-end smartphones, some high-end iPhones that we don't even know what we carry. We don't know what we can pull out of this. And I would like to put this straight before we even get to the software we're using today, that every video editing, everything that you see on either my page or my, my Facebook page, my YouTube page is done with mobile. I will also want to dispute the fact that I do video editing on laptop. But then I want to be sincere with you guys that for a while now, I stopped using my system basically because it doesn't give me this, the, the, the space to be mobile. It doesn't give me that freedom to work on the go. But with my phone, I'm at work. I can do some things on my break. I'm at home. I can do some things during my break time. 
Aki, hear me, but Latito is not yet connecting audio, and I'm very sure that you can't hear me right now. So please, you can join in, just dial in. If you are joining on Zoom and you can't hear us, just dial in. Just hold on, people. Let me just drop a message a minute on the group to inform people of what they need to do. They should dial in over the internet so that they can hear us. Okay, that's done. Now I'd like to proceed because I can see some people are just joining, but they are not dialing in. Or they are not dialing in their audio via internet for them to be able to hear us in this training today. So like I was saying, it gives me the opportunity to do many things and give me the opportunity to pour in my idea, my creative idea on, on things on the go. I don't need to write them down in the place of which it is good for you to write your ideas down and then you get home or you get to where you have what you can work with and then try to recreate them. But it helps me to get to work like straight away. I can easily get to work straight away. I don't need to hold on to when I get home to grab my laptop before I can do many things. And for people who follow my YouTube channel, there's a video that I dropped last. I think the video was dropped last week, which I did a, a kind of, that wasn't my last video, sorry. I think it was two previous two, two episodes away, which I, I did a, a kind of magic attracting the share. That video was recorded at work. I just had to give my phone to one of my colleagues to record me in that video. And then I had to just edit that video on my way home in the car. By the time I was home, my video was halfway done. But assuming I'm not working with my mobile, I will need to, okay, let me set up my camera. I won't be able to get that particular scene. Most of the things I use in that video may not be available for me to use. And then I will need to go on days trying to get other things will come on the way. But I can use my time at any point in time and get straight to editing. And then I get to work. So I want us to what we want to achieve with this training is us and missing what we have, the power of our mobile phone, what we have in our hands to bring about many, many things. And getting the point straight right here again, I would also like to introduce us, because I know that's a question that has been on the mind of everybody, that which software are we talking about here? What are we using for this training? I would like to say the fact straight there that we will be using, actually there are many software that are available on the market, but after trying out many and many and many and so many of them, there's one that always stands out. There's one that you can use to do virtually anything that you want to do. The name of the software is SkyMaster. I know many of us know about the software. The name of the software is Kind Master. And today, basically, we'll be starting the class by introducing you to this application. And this application comes in two phases. You can actually get the free version and the premium version. But then the premium version is just you buying some other assets in the free version. It's not like the hubs is two different applications. No, it's one single application you can buy some other assets in that particular application. But then let's get to this application and see the way the interface looks like. Also known as I'll be sharing my screen with you so we can have a feel and see what this application actually looks like. So from here, I'll be sharing my, I'll, be, I'll actually start sharing my screen from my phone. So I need to stop, let me stop this here. Okay, so if you can see, this is my phone right here, and I think everybody here will just see the application, it stands out. Time Master Pro, you can see the application, it stands out right here. This is the application that I'll be dealing with today. This is the app that I'll be dealing with today. So let's get to it. Let's see how this application actually looks like. So the name of the application is Time Master. So you can see it says create edit and, and then if you look at the lesson outline that 
the first outline that we have for this lesson, I talk about introducing you to the app and going through the interface in creating all what to create. And I can tell you that all my videos, like you can see, you will see my catalog of videos here that has been created by this same app. I see the catalog of my videos that has been created by this same app. All day. You see my projects. I have a lot of projects that has been done, created by this same application. A lot of projects that has been done here. Now, let me start from what do you need to do. Now we are in the app. Assuming you are new, you won't have your catalog of work. It's just be blank and empty. But then, what do you need to do at this point that you are in the app? What's the first thing for you to do? The first thing for you to do is you should have in mind what you want to create. You have prepared yourself. This is what I want to do. I think just going to the app to find idea. The app will not give you idea. Sorry, I can as everybody can see now that some people are sending some messages to this group, to the group, to our WhatsApp group. Please, I want to advise everybody to get this from me that you don't want to see unsolicited messages on that WhatsApp group. If you are not here for the training, it's a player, you can leave. You can leave. So let's get back to the training. From here now, you need to a kind of for the video. This is what I'm what I want to ask you this video that you know right things to do at the time to do them. If you look at the big circle at the center here. If you look at the big circle at the center here, it says plus. This is what you need majorly because the one you have on the right side that has a house, the store, and then this, the one on the, one on the right side is the, is the YouTube page, and the one on the left is the store. So if you see here, you see select aspect ratio of your project. Now we'll have seen different videos with different aspect ratio. Sixteen by nine is the standard aspect ratio for video recording. That's the standard aspect ratio for video recording. Nine by 16 is a portrait mode. It's a portrait mode, especially for phones. It's a portrait mode. You see many people, if you, if you take your camera to record the phone, if, 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 a video, be straight, that's what you get. It's a portrait mode recording. Sorry, my, my, I need to share my screen again. Let's go back to the app. And then the one by one, the last one here is actually for Instagram. You see videos on Instagram, they are in square shape on Instagram. I do release my videos once in a while in one by one ratio if I need to achieve some things with it. So the first thing is, what do I want to achieve with this video? Where the platforms that I want to post this video? You won't be expected that you are covering an event or you are releasing a skit. And you are recording the video in 916. It will be out of space. So you are shooting a music video, a musical video, and then you are recording 916. You want to shoot 16 by 9. But if you are recording a, little, a small skit for Instagram, you can use one by one. It's fine. Now let's just get to work. Let's say, okay, we are choosing 16 by 9. Now, when you choose a particular aspect ratio, the first place it brings you to is for you. Is for you to choose your media file, of which we can skip this. This we can actually skip it. So for the purpose of this particular class, I will skip this. I will just click the done button, and then I have nothing. So this is how your kind master looks when you enter in here with nothing. You don't have any project. You don't have any video recording in here. This is how it looks. And I just want to go through the tabs that we have around here so we can get ourselves familiar with it. The same way we have it on every other editing platforms is very common. Anything, any software, we also have undo and redo here. If you look at the buttons that are up here, though they are not highlighted now, and the reason why they are not highlighted is because I don't have any project file here. If I bring in a major file here now, and I do anything here, just try to bring them on for me to highlight. If they will be highlighted, and then allow me to do some work. Let me bring in a particular media file. Let me just bring in any video. Let, okay, let me bring in the last one I did, the video for this particular training. So if you see this now, 
you see that we have the undo button already highlighted. This button here is already highlighted. That, that should be undo button. And then the button that is not highlighted under it is redo. If I undo something, I can redo it again. So there's no mistake. If you've done something that you think is a mistake, you can undo that same thing in, in this software. Now the next thing that follows here is you to take some captures which you actually get to in this action is you can see the first one says capture and save the second common says capture and hide as a clip and the last one says capture and hide as a layer now let me quickly explain these things and what they do if i scroll straight let me just scroll straight to a particular part of this video now this particular part of this video if i need to use this as a thumbnail or i need to use this as a picture to send to people up to update update on my status i can easily I can easily take the screenshot or let me say save this particular part. It will save the whole software, but this particular part of the video as a picture and save in my gallery. So let me let's do that. If I do this now, capture and save the first one. You see, it's like I, I took a screenshot and it shows me where that particular picture is being saved in my phone. And the second one here says capture and add as a clip. Now I told me I want to add a particular part of the video, like this particular image now. I want to have it as, a, as another clip to the end of the video, but then I just want it to be that image alone. You know? I don't want it to play like this image. Maybe I want to do some, I want to add some effect to it. You can do the capture and add as clip. Now, if I click the capture and add as clip, if you notice that my clip is added here, now let me play it. You see that it's added the picture as a clip. See what it's playing before the video. Now we can always do some other adjustment to hit. That's the clip. And also the third one is, is capture and add as layer. I can also capture and add as a layer. Now a layer will not be on the same level as a clip. I want us to understand what layers is. We'll see get to layers. You can see layers on the right side of the tab. Layers are not on the same tab as a clip. Now let me just do capture and add as a layer. You see what happened here? That the particular image now is brought underneath the list of clips that I have up there. So, assuming I want to bring this up in here, okay, let me just let me do something here to show us. Okay, like you can see it here now, that I see a voice on this clip. So, assuming I want to put it by one side, I want to just put it on the side of it, and you see in that same particular video, it's just a picture now. I can put it that way, and then it comes. You see, it appears no effect added anyways. And then we move to the next one. Now going away from that capture, capture tab. The next one there is the settings of your project. You can do your all your settings, the master volume of your project. How do you want your volume of your project to be? How do you want your music to start to start your audio? Do you want the audio to fade in at the start of the project? You want your audio to fade out at the end of the project. How many seconds? If I put it on, if I put these ones on, if you ask me, how many seconds of fade do I want to appear on each of these projects? You can set the, the seconds on this tab. You can drag it up and down. I think you can, you see, you can drag it up. If I want it to fade out in four seconds, in six seconds, in one second, depending on the way you want it to be. But I don't always use this. I, in fact, I don't use it. The reason why I don't use this is this. When you set this, it applies to your kind master and it applies on all your projects. And of course, these projects are different. Each project are unique depending on what you want to achieve with them. So each project are actually unique. Then you move to your video tab. On this video tab also, it asks you how do you want your video to be? You want it to fade in, you want it to fade out at the end of the project. I don't always set this also. I do this manually while editing my projects. And then the editing tab also here. If you're adding a photo, or if you're importing a photo in Kai Master, now if you look at the default duration of a photo clip, the default duration of a photo clip, the duration that the photo clip will actually be adding, you give each photo clip that you're adding 4.5 seconds by default. So if you're putting the picture, the picture will be cut to appear for 4.5 seconds. You can actually adjust this manually. So I don't really stick with this depending on my project. Most of these default settings, I don't stick with them. 
And then default pan and zoom mode. I remember when I just started using Kai Master, I like playing around with this place because it's kind of do use this AI in going around and around your your picture. It just goes around and around your picture. But then if you see now that I just put it in fit in screen, once I'm putting a picture, just fit it in screen for me. Let me do my other work myself because now I know much more how this works. But when you are just starting up, I wouldn't really advise anybody to use this. Because Sky Master will dictate for you. And most of the time, the artificial intelligence doesn't really work right. Imagine I'm putting up a picture and I want the picture to highlight the face of the person. And then Sky Master ends up showing the leg of the person for me, like zooming to the leg, because that's what the hair high was able to like recognize as being a part of the person that stands out. So I don't use this. So let's go back to the interface of Kind Master. Now we're here. And then the next one here, as people, if people who edit on laptops, we all know this. So that's why I said this is the best we have seen so far. For this, you can change the interface the way you want it to be. Now, when I press this button here, you see what happened. When I press this button here, my slideshow, it brings it down. I can place it anyway. And it shows me my timeline of editing. For me to have a very good view of my timeline of editing, it brings me this. Okay, this is what I will do at this point. Let me go out of this project and open one of my projects. I have a very complicated timeline. Let me just open one of my trainings, I think. They have a very complicated timeline. Okay, let me see this. I have very complicated, not too very complicated. So now you see this now. This particular mode will let me see all my timelines see everything because if i'm here if i'm in this mode i will need to start going up and down to see everything all the effects are added but if i come here it gives me the opportunity of seeing everything the way they are added and i can easily work with them and at the same time you can see my slideshow but we should also remember that if you press this button here it will take away the slideshow completely you see when i press that button I, I can't even see any preview of the project so when this is on i can see the preview of my project and this is what this is useful. So let's go back. And then this button takes you to the beginning of a project. Takes you to the beginning of a project or the end of it. This, this button right here. This button here. So if you want to go to the beginning to the end of your project, if you are working on the project that is very long and for you to just scroll, you can just press this and this takes you to either the beginning of a project or the end of it. I think we are fine with that. Let's move to the other side of the tab. And here now we have media, we have layers, we have audio, we have voice. We have this, also this icon that looks like a house and we have the play button. And also looks like you see one at the, at the extreme end of it. Now let me quickly explain. If you are having any clip, let me delete all the clips that I've added here. So let me go out of this project. Actually, let me go back to our demo project. Let me delete all the files we've added here. Now we have a clean trigger here. If I click on media here, it shows me my browser, my gallery. To, for me to add and select anything I want to add, the program, what I need to use for this part for a particular video, maybe my this original video for the class introduction that was dropped on Friday, that was yesterday. This is the original video, so you can have it. I have, let me have this now. I can also go back there and add other videos, other images. I can add, let me have this. You can select multiple and add. You can go again to another one. You can add, you can select multiple. You can select. Let me be share my screen. Sorry, I mistakenly stopped my share. So you can select multiple, multiple video files. And again, you can, if you see that my video, my the project is too long for me to scroll through. You can squeeze up your timeline or expand it. Let me just press OK here. So I will go back to our timeline fully. If you see now. 
You can either squeeze up your timeline or expand it. This looks too long for me to scroll through to add some effect or to do many things. Putting your two fingers on your screen this way and dragging it inwards will squeeze your project. It will squeeze your project up to sizable amounts. But then there's always an end to it. You see, that's the end. I can't squeeze it any further. But then while working and editing, I can also zoom it out to see a particular part of my clip. If I want to cut and I'm doing some precise cutting, or I'm doing some precise editing, or I'm doing some precise adding of text or layers, I can do this, zoom it out, and then work at that particular point. That is for media. You can also add pictures from there. You can add pictures if we had it up to here it also. Let's move on now to layers. Now, if I click on layer here, you see on layers, we have media, we have effects, we have overlaid, we have text, we have handwriting. For anything that has to do with layer, it will not be on the same tab with your clips. It won't be around there. It will be down here. So anything that comes with this layer, if, and if you look at layer here, you see the icon they use for it is like something underneath, assembled together. But the top video remains, and your layer will be like something you are adding up to the video to give it effect and everything. Let's add the media file, for example, now. I can add the video as a layer. Now, let me add the same video, the same video, I'm adding it as a layer. And then if you see it now, there's just underneath it here. It's underneath here as a layer. So I can do whatever I need to do with it. Let me quickly create an effect here. I can do this. And then let me just say the end animation of this should be fading. Just fading like in 1.5 seconds. Like I'm trying to do many shots with just one single shot. And let me just cut it here. And then it should just get back. So if I play right here now, Although I won't like the effect I'm getting anyway, because it's not like a video editing. You see, it fades into this new one, and then it plays over it again. It's still playing over it, but then at the end of, of this layer, it drops back to the original video. So a layer actually overlaps your videos, your original clip. A layer covers up your original clip. So you can see now that it goes back video so if i if i take it back if i take it back this way you see see that goes back you see that goes back to my original video so that is what the layer does the layer will add up to your clip and apart from the media we have effect now effect here we have many 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 effects in kind master there are many many effects in kind master most of them are not free. Let me see some of them anyway. Time Master is so generous that you can get many, many effects for free. Some of them are not free, but you can go to the store and click on Get More. It will take you to the Time Master Asset Store. And in the Time Master Asset Store here, you see a lot that you need. You can see artistic effect, blur effect, color effect, distortions, transforms, mask, bleach, lens noise the way you want it for those of us that knows adobe premiere pro i would just call, like to call this app the junior brother of premiere pro i work on premiere pro also and like i said for most of my projects in recent times i've been working with this particular application because it's you know we, we that will stay in lagos you know the way it is you spend most of the time on the road coming back from work you can always work on the go and get your pro, the project delivered to your customers so in effect here now, what this effect, let me have a basic effect here. Is this effect I always have to, to mask out my, my gallery whenever I'm releasing any video edit to just hide away my pictures. Now this blur effect, if I bring in this blur effect now, you see, like I said, what I said about overlays, see the way it blows out, I can set it. Each of these effects have their own settings, depending on what you want to achieve with them. You can I can reduce the opacity of it, like how visible it will be. I can trim and cut it. I can put it in shape. I can rotate it also. I can do all sorts with this. And also under like the layer effect, we have overlays. Apart from effects now, we have overlays. Now, many people have seen me use some of the overlays right here. 
So part of this overlay, you see, many, you have many, these overlays are just effects. They are available also for you to use. You have spotlight here. The, the, there is one that is actually, if you are looking at the video on my back that I used in that video, in that particular video for sending home, and this is it here. I use this particular spotlight here. This spotlight, this, I use the spotlight. You can see this spotlight now, blue. then you will see the spotlight on that particular video in the background that you can see there. So this is the spotlight I use, and even the spotlight, you can adjust how visible the spotlight is. We increase or reduce it. I can cut it, I can blend it in. I can do many things there with it. It gives me the opportunity to do that. I can do the hand animation the way I want it to come in. Overall animation, if I want it to blink, I want it to flicker, if I want it to, to pause, if I want it to give type, I want it to just do like a fountain, bring around, floating. You have lots on and on that you can do with all, with all these effects. We tell this over this and then we go to text. We go to text. In this text, let me just type out my name. Let me type out my name here. Let me put it in capital letters. I can change my font. You can also download fonts in the store. Because if you are installing Kind Master for the first time, I will drop the link for you to get the Kind Master after this class in the WhatsApp group. If you are installing Kind Master for the first time, you will only have Android and Latin. You only have Android and Latin. But then you can download the fonts in the Kind Master store. You have Sans Serif, you have Serif. Let me just use this, pick this up. Let me bold it out. I can change the color. I can do some things to it. I can say, okay, I, I don't go, I do just want the, the text to appear. I want to appear letter by letter, like I'm typing it. And then I want to reduce, I want to reduce the speed of it. And then it comes in this way. And then you see the way I get out of it from there. So the more I expand it, the more I squeeze it down, the more I squeeze it in, the more faster it, it gets. So let's go back to our text. Also, in this test tab here, you can do viral animation. You want it to blink when after it has appeared, pause, delta, fountain, ring, floating, drifting, anyhow, anyhow you want it. And you ring, depending on what you need to do at that point in time. Also, out animation. How do you want it to leave the screen? Okay, I just want to slide down. Then everything just, just let, let you see this now. I think we've created like a rain effect here. So now like the name, the coming as a rain, and then the typing effects is there, and then they all slide down. And then they all slide down. So we can do many and many of these things with this, but these are just the basic things that you need to do. Then when you start to do some modifications to your project, you get to see many things. And then let's go to handwriting quickly. On the handwriting here, yeah, we have many things. We have, if you need to do an arrow, just a, you need to do, draw ordinary line here. This ordinary line, something like this. You need to draw an arrow, one-sided arrow like this. You need to draw a double-sided arrow like this. You need to just do some writing. You need to use some pencil draws. You want to draw some x shape like this you need to draw a box a circle a box that is not filled and a circle that is not filled you can change the color the way you want it you can use the razor to clean it up to, to clean some part of like you draw the box and you don't want all the part of the box to appear you can just draw a box and then clean some part of the box up and then you can use this button here to clean up everything that you have in there. And from here, you can see the size, the size of, of the pen that you want to, you can make it big. Let me use it, let me change this to, to so now you can make it a big one. Let me change it to this, a big one like this. Or you can make it the tiniest of the tiniest like this. So these tools are available 
for you to use. And then you, you can also actually address it down there, or we also get to that. Let's quickly move to audio. On the audio files here, you can add the audios. See, it shows you audios. This way you add audios and sound effect to this. This way you add audios and sound effect to your videos, the way you want them to be. And from here, you can actually do a voice recording in Kind Master. As long as you've done maybe, let's say, a test animation advert for someone, and then you need to do a voiceover for it, you can record straight here in Kind Master. And let's see what Kind Master does when you are recording straight away from here. Once you press this, and then you start, it will. Now it's starting, it's recording. You see, it moves with your video, so it allows you to see the progress of your video and then know what to say at the time. And when I stop it, the recording is added to it automatically as a layer, as a layer in this video. So we can see this. Now, before, before I move on, before I move on from, from this place, I would like to pause, to take pause for a while and then listen to questions. If I can get questions from what you've said so far, I want to see your questions. I will hold on for like five minutes. Let me say, let me just hold on for like two minutes and then I'll be checking up the questions in the chat that I'll see. Please, if you are sending your questions, you can send your questions to chat. You can send your questions even on the group on WhatsApp and you can send your questions at the comment on the Facebook live stream. Mm -hmm. So I will actually be checking all the platforms down to give answers to any questions. Please just type in your question. You can type your questions as a, as a, as a message, as a chat in Zoom. You can type in your question also. In Time Master, you can type, sorry, in Facebook live and then also on the WhatsApp group.
Okay, hello everyone. So we are actually back here now. And I can see some questions. Some people are dropping their questions already. Someone asked a question. The person said, let me just read the question out. He said, thank you very much. My question is in, in using this kind master app, can one actually edit a video recorded on another platform or the video must be recorded on the app itself? Actually, you don't need to record the video on the app itself. I've never done that. I've never recorded my video on the app itself. I hope you can hear me, the, the person that asked that question. Okay, I did for learning work. You don't need to record your video on the app itself. I record most of my video on on my with my phone. I record them into my gallery. I only import the video, like you see, that we can you can import your video. I only import the video to Time Master to edit. I don't record because I want to do my settings to my camera settings. I want to put my phone in the way I want. I don't want the app to mess up with my recordings. So you can you don't actually need that. You don't actually need that. And I those are online. Can you hear me? Okay, MC Rev, I think you need to join your hold you, dial in hold you. That's why you can't hear me. You need to dial in your hold you. So let's get back to the hub now. And the next thing we'll be doing now is importing footage and things to do with it. Importing your footage and the things you need to do with it. I did the I've actually introduced the hub and then we we'll walk through the interface. Important footage and things that we need to do with it. Let us get straight to down. Let's get straight to that because of our time. So I will, I will just start a new project here. Let me choose 16 by nine as our aspect ratio. Now let me bring in some clip here that we need to edit. Let me just... Look for some random, very random recording of mine. Okay, let me bring in some of my videos. I like using Snapchat. I don't know if anybody else is in my shoes yet. So let me bring in some of my videos I saved from Snapchat and let's just put it together. Let's do some editing right away. Sorry, I probably find it difficult at times scrolling through. Uh, I think I need to use other files. So here we have snapshot. Let me just put some video. Let me have this. And let me have this. Let me have this. Okay. The length of my the length of the videos I have they actually varies. You see them I have. The length of the clips I have here, the varies. Now, for each of the clip, if I select them here, some list of menu comes up right here. On this daily, I can do to this particular clip. Now, for this clip, I can add what is called clip graphics in Time Master. I can use the scissors button to cut. Now, let's assume that, okay, I don't want it to start right, right here. I want it to start from here. If I click on this scissors button here, I have a series of options of cutting. Let me just turn to the left to cut that part away. And let me call me. Let me just cut to the right here, right here. Let me delete this short clip that I have in between here. It's too small. So let me just delete it off. 
Let me zoom in so I can see it and then delete it. This one is too short, so let me just delete that. And then let me do this. Let me also let I won't cut this now. Let me just show on that side of cutting. I can just come here and then split this at playhead. Splitting this at playhead, just divide the videos into two. Now you see, I have the video as two separate files. For this also, I can cut and insert freeze frame. And what the freeze frame means is it will cut this particular video into two and take a screenshot of this particular location and insert it in between the two videos. So if I do this now, you see, now the video plays from here and then pause. Was I actually a picture that I was taking and then continues? Okay. Now that's how to cut your, your file. Now let me add transitions here. I don't like the way they are transiting from one image to another, way it moves from one image to another. I don't like this. Let me add some transition. Let's make it more fun. But before we get there, I can actually zoom this out. I don't like the way they are standing in there. I can zoom it out. I can do some zoom out here. Now, if you are panning and zooming on this particular tab, there are two ways to do it. You have to start position and then position. If you click this equal to here, it means in the same position. Zoom to the same position. So if I zoom it out like this, Zoom to the same position, but I click on if I on click the that equals sign that is that is there. I can actually ask the video to start like from here, then zoom that, and then the hand part of it. I want it to come to this side and see like here. So it's okay here. Now let's be honest. You can see that. You can, you can see that. And see that that effect. Get this. And then in between the videos, you see we have the plus signs to add transition to your video. Now I'm here to add clip that. Let me have clip that this is my particular thing. I click on the graphics here. It's I can use Sorry, it's raining here, so something just happened. My I, my laptop was struck by lightning. But then that will stop our class. So let's just get back to class. So adding the clip graphics. So adding the clip graphics. Now here, if I come to the clip graphics, it shows me a start and end point to the clip graphics I'm adding. It shows me 
a start and end point to this clip graphics. Like right here, this is start and end point to hit. So I can actually adjust it way up or way down the way I want it to be. So coming right here in between the transition also, If I click on the transition, the plus sign here, I have series of transition to select. Let me just use this sketch and ripple. If I click on this now, I can also change the transition, the timeline in between the transitions. The timeline in between the transitions, like this way, this way, the way you want it to be. If I want it to be more, a, a bit slow, I can also adjust it the same way. So you can, you can take it down like this like this, you see, or like this, you see, let's just press, okay, you can use this also. Now let's play this video, let's work with okay. Now at this point, please, I would like to confirm it. People who are on Zoom can actually hear me. Let me go back to Zoom, please, and let me confirm. Because we had our system a bit disrupted, so let me just confirm. Okay, going back to our project, adding the transition, let's also add something else to this one. This particular video, I can increase or decrease the speed. Now, let me increase the speed. Let's say I'm increasing the speed to two. And then I press OK. I may not be able to see a, particular, a, a clear flow of how the video will be. I may not be able to see a clear flow in my editing timeline, not in when I export the videos. So if I play like this now, let me just play. You see that that particular video is just a bit muffled up. But when I export, I get a very clean video. That is what happens when you are trying to add some speed effect to your particular video. And then let's go here, let's add another clip graphics here. Let me do this. Here we can, let me just write something. And then press okay. And then we'll get, let, let me let me also do this. Okay, let me just leave that. And then let's play this out. Let me have some transition here. Let me have some clip graphics here. Let me delete this. Let me let me let me just do something. The graphics.
to the villages. Just want to save our time so we can move on. Let me delete all the extra that we have here. Let's see what we've got. This is just. Okay, let me remove the speed effect here so that we can actually have a very clean project. Let me just take off the speed. I should do need it. So let me have now add the clip graphics to it. Let me screw this up. Now let's see what. So this is what we'll do. Now this is we adding transitions and clip graphics to a particular and basic video is now here. We are just adding clip graphics, clip playing around with this now. You have lots and lots of them of what you can do. Now this is where we go. Let me, let me do something here. Let me do something here. Let me change the way this comes in and the way it goes out. So let me just use the in animation like it should be coming in this way, like from here. And then the handling part of it to focus on my face like this. These are because the video are recorded in portrait mode. So let's let's do this. Let's see what we've got here. Remember that for, for each of this now, we can't set in and out here, in and out animation here because they are not layers. In and out animations are only available for layers. These are the list of what we have for here for, for each of these videos here. So let me delete this because it's the same clip. So let's see what we've got. So here goes our assignment one for the day. Assignment one will be do a short video, a 30 seconds video of yourself, putting in some basic clip graphics and a basic clip, clip graphics and transitions. And then you send it to the group. Now, when you are done with your project this week, I know this question should come like, when I'm done with my project this week, how do I see? How do I get the video out? Of Kai Master and put it on my on, on, on my phone. Now let's just add, let me just add some sound to this, and then you see. You may not get to hear my sound in this particular video because as I'm sharing my screen with you, my sounds don't get shared. My the sounds on my phone won't get shared. You can only hear my voice. So let me just add some sound here to make it cool. Let me look for some song. Okay, let me add this disturbance here, and let me add it up. So you see the way the the song comes here. So if you don't like where the song is starting from, you can actually adjust, you can cut it by clicking on it this way, going down to trim and split, click on trim and split, you can cut it right here, and then you can adjust. Let me just take it a very from like, I'm taking it here. Okay, this is where I want it to start, and then I click. You won't actually hear my sound, but you can see the sound playing from the other side here. So this is it. So our first assignment, and then you have a set of it at the, at, the, at the end of it here. Let me just cut it off. Let me just, do, let me just cut it off here. Okay. So from this video now, the first assignment is doing a video like this of yourself. Definitely everybody has some little, little videos we've recorded on our phones. So you have to do that and then drop your, your assignment on in the group. Just drop it on the group. You can also submit it on Facebook. I will check all the platforms to see the assignments that have been dropped. So let's go to text animation from here. I would like to add little text animation here so we can see what text animation really means. Now, let me go. I will just be doing the explanations and then you see, I see more of what you can achieve. 
let me just create some kind of test like introduction. I don't want the video to just come in. So let me add the background to the beginning. Note something, at the point that you're adding any background or you're bringing in any new clip, you can slide your particular timeline to that place. Let me have the black background in here. The black background is too, is too long. Let me turn it down a bit, go like this. Now, layer, then I'm adding text. Let me just say, welcome to my hood. Now, let me think the font here. And say, so let me use this. Okay. Now, let me scroll down here. Let me put the outline as, um, let's use this color. So thick. Now, let me bring it this way. Let me reduce weight. Okay, it's okay this way. You see, going back there. Let me see, go back to that same text here. Okay. Let me, Let me add some bit of shadows to it. But the shadows will not be visible because I'm putting it on the black background. But I can make it glow like this. But I don't need, I don't think I need that. I'm using the basic introduction here. So let me go to the basic, basic intro and then the hint. Let's just do this. Welcome to my hood. Okay. And then the overall animation, how do I want it to appear? So I, I, I think, let me just put none here. And then the health animation. So just, no, I want something more dramatic. Yeah, something like this, scale up. Okay, let, let, it be, let me put it on, on the seconds and then here, yeah, we have it. Now, if you look at the text, you see that the text has overlaid to all the videos. So if, let me adjust it back to where I have this. Let me adjust it back to where I have this. So that you end with this. So to make it very good, the way to come into my picture here, let me add some transition effects by clicking on that plus. Let me use this zoom and reflection. Okay, now let's say this. I think the hint animation here is too fast because of the length. So let me, I can easily put this one out a bit so we have more space to work with. And then in animation here. Okay, let's see this. Let's just extend a bit before it disappears. Let's play. So here yeah, we have it. Now for us to export our project, now let's assume we are done with the project. The next thing for us is to export it. To export your project, you click on this icon right here. When you click on this, it brings up the menu to export your project. You can export up to 4K, depending on the capacity of your phone, on the ability of your phone. You can export up to 4K resolution. But then let me just use HD, leave it at 30 frames per second, and then you see it gives you an estimate of how of, of the data, is, not the data to consume the space it will take up. You say the file will be about 13 megabytes, 13 MB. Let's export. Exporting the video can 
take very long depending on how much what you've added to the video. If you're just a video that's video for at least 15, especially that you're exporting your video for at least 15 minutes, but for short videos, you get them exported and depending on how fast your phone is, because the application will need to put all the files together before it export them. Now we have a final file there. Let's play. So here goes our first assignment. You need to create a video like this of yourself with your videos. If you cannot use your own, if you don't have videos of yourself, you can just get random videos that you use for 30 seconds, do all your editing, and then you drop them to the group. Let's just move on. Let's see what more we can do before we end this class for today. I hope we've actually noted down that assignment. I will actually drop the assignment again on the group for us to see. So, and the next thing that we want us to do today again, I think we will conclude. I want us to add color corrections, color correction effects to our clip. We actually learn cutting and footage transition, we've learned that, the cutting. And we will learn importing of bureaus and use of tools tomorrow. Adding titles to our project, I did a bit of that, but I think I will move that also to tomorrow. I would just want us to do adding color corrections effect up front on our clip. Let's just add color corrections and then we'll be done for the class today. Because I don't want to take much of our time again today. So I'll see our assignments and then we'll know where to pick up the class from. So I'll be sharing my screen again. So let's get back to Kind Master and we're going back to that, our projects. Then we can have some color corrections. Now for each of the clip that we have here now, I click on the clip and then I go down, you can see color flip filters and adjustments. Let's start with color filters. You have many color filters, but let's note this. On any of the color filters that you see the crown like logo on, they have premium. Actually, I use a premium version of this application. They are premium, but then I would like to stick with the basic one for those that will still be using the basic plan of this application for now. So you have many color effects. The color effect may not really be visible on this particular project because those videos are already, filters are on them already from Snapchat. But then we we'll see some changes. Like you can see now as I'm selecting, you can see some changes. So depending on what you are working on, you have many of this now to add to your project. Let me just, okay, let me, let me go, I can go like this. Let me just do this. Let me do this for the particular one. You can reduce the way you want it to be on it. Increase it to 60. And then you see, so you can do this. So let me come to this one. Color filter. Just come here. Then do for, then let me go premium. And stay on the basic. Hi. 
Why this is not actually visible is because this particular video, I added some effect to it already, so you can see it, but okay, let's stick with this. Let me just use this. And from here, assuming you are editing a, a short series, you are editing a short video, and then you need to just put a, a, the same color filter on everything. Once you select it here and you scroll down, there's the place here. If you scroll down, if I click apply to all, it will apply, apply to all videos and images. It applies the same filter to all my videos and images. All my videos and images here, they have this, they filter the same way, so you don't have them looking so different. I bet with you that I, I know that this one that I put the red one on before has been changed. See, that's applied that, that, that filter to every one of them. And apart from that, you can also do some manual adjustment also. If you come to adjustment here, you can adjust the brightness. Let me just take it to where my face is off. Can use the brightness depending on the way you want the video to be. You can do some con contrast saturation you can be increased or lowered. You can change the vibrance. The temperature. So you can change many things. And when you are done, just press OK. And there you have it. Now, I would like to add another credit at the end of it right here. Let me just add another text right here. I can just do this. Let me add the background. Let me use, let me use black. Not the text. Just put and go your day. Please, if you are just joining us, you can mute yourself, please. Thank you. So let me just put this and get your day. Let me add some effect to this one. I will quickly run something here. Let me do some advanced, advanced text effect here. Because if I'm doing this, I wouldn't want to put just enjoy your day this way. I know what I do. Let me just, let me do this. So this, I will just leave it this way anyway. I mean, we shall close. Okay. This enjoy. I'm going to bring it down here. Let me duplicate. And then duplicate. And this is actually an advanced text edit here. Yeah?
Hmm? Oh, no, to leave this same. What's on do? We will end the class with this. So I'm actually trying to do give you an advanced edit in here so that you actually have a good day and enjoy your day. That's the message I'm trying to pass across now that you should enjoy your day. So on this note, I want to tell us that we should enjoy our day. So we can still export the project and then select the way you want it to say, we can adjust the quality, we want it low on high or high, and then we export the project. That's it for today. I'll give five minutes for questions so I can give answers to the questions and the assignment. I will want everybody to just get their hand on, on deck. I know we didn't really get to do much today, but then if you've done something, I want you to get to work. I want you to do, do your thing, be creative with it. Just play around the app. Try out many things in there, bring in your questions, and every question will answers will be provided to every question. Thank you, everyone. If you are here, uh, if anyone can you meet yourself, you can ask the questions. Questions. Okay. Hello. If you have a question, please. You can ask a question for people on Facebook. Also, you can see. Drop your questions on Facebook and on also on the chat on WhatsApp. You can actually drop your questions in there. 
Okay, uh, send me. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm, I can hear you. Okay, sorry, I just need a little bit. So I was able to get some things. I just want to ask, although I followed to some extent, but the kind of stuff, is it on Christ or is there a link to download it? I will actually send the link to the group. I will send the link to get the help to the group. The help is actually in two phases. We have the, the basic version. You can get it on Play Store. If you go to Play Store, you can search for Kind Master. You get it on Play Store. So actually on Play Store. OK. But the, the pro version, is, is, it, is it different from that basic? And can I get it? It's the same thing, it's not different. It's the same application. All what you need to do is to just buy assets. Just buy assets that are premium. Just buy assets that are premium. Just buy assets okay, that are okay, premium. Okay, okay, okay. Well, with the, these, uh, this video, we need to post it on the group so that we can have access to it for those that join later or those that didn't join at all. I, yes, you posted on the group. I can see that many people didn't join at all because today being a Saturday, many people had to go out, many people had a lot of things to do. Even I had to go out this morning to check on some things, but because I need to take the class, so I just have to have it. So the applying version will be posted. You can check it out again on Facebook and I will also send the link to the group. Thank you. Uh, that will be all. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So on this note, I'm not seeing any questions. I know questions will still come again. You can still continue to drop your questions. We still take your questions, although we'll be handing the online class now. But then questions, we will still take questions from people who, are, who will be seeing the video later, and people should start sending in the assignment. Thank you very much. You can watch it on Facebook also. The link will be sent to the group. Thank you very much for your time.